If you're controlling output pins, it's smart to start with the GP1 connector here, which is the leftmost on the board. And the reason I'm choosing this one to start with is because these two outputs also correspond to the green and red LEDs. So it gives you extra feedback about the condition of the pin by default on the board. And it's referring to green and red uh, as these LEDs that are close to what they call the user LEDs, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. So what I have right now is a program running that's turning on the green LED for I think three seconds and off for two seconds. And then um, the six pin JST connector has the leftmost wire, in my case it's the green one, is on the same port as the green LED and the red is actually the next one which does not have a wire connected. My, my ground, my ground wire right here is connected to a circuit and then this is my accessory. So this could be a relay or some other device that's activated by logic level high and low where my ground is going to the ground of the breadboard and then my, my high voltage um, 3.3 or 0 is in the first row which goes to the positive pin of this LED then the negative pin of the LED travels through the 1k ohm resistor and then back to the ground and then you can see that these two um, green lights are being synchronized So this is nice if you're connecting a new actuator for the first time, you can get the feedback if you use these two channels. And then on the software, the level one folder, uh, the level one file that's um, controlling this is called gpio.py and we're going to come out with a, an updated version of this very soon, but it will still look very similar. The loop just has... Um, initialize the pin and then drive it high and drive it low in the sequence.